What I think is so wonderful about this movie and what really moved me is that I feel most people will be able to identify with choices or doubts that you make throughout your life. I think everybody remembers how it was when you were 16 and kissed a boy for the first time or made love for the first time. Um, I think Jacko, as a filmmaker, is the most, um, you know, he, he, he touches people. He has, he, he just, he moves something in, in, in people, I think, that is that everyone can relate to in terms of memories um, of, of one's childhood or fears what the future may bring to us. The film is a work of art, but it's a collective work of art. By example, the pig came from, uh, what was an idea from, from the production design. How could we, if it was a long process already, something to, to years before, uh, before, before shooting, of how, how the future was looking and, and um, what's great in, what, what I like in working not alone, but, but with a bunch of great people is that they always have great ideas and, um, and um, also what I like is when they are great people, even if we don't have a great idea that, that, that day, we, we had a great time. In fact, I don't know anything, but I just try to, f to know where, where are the fears and to avoid the fears and to know where is the pleasure and to go where there is the pleasure. And that's it. And even if the scene is not good, if we had a great day, it's, it was a great moment. The women were obviously, you can see, um, uh, gorgeous and wonderful to work with and very sweet and talented. And, you know, Jaco built a great uh, uh, team. And it was my pleasure to work with him. Uh, it was probably the craziest fucking movie I've ever made my entire life. Uh, and it started with a script. It was a, uh, a uniquely uh, individual piece of, of art, and it was, it was my pleasure. Grazie. For me, it was, we worked a lot on, in advance um, about the script, about Jeanne um, and her relationship with, with Nemo, but then on the set, he makes it so free and so warm, and it's just so a lot of trust that you just go anywhere with him. I think at one point I was Anna, you know, I, when, when Juno and, and Nemo meet when they're young, you know, that heartbeat, I mean, that's not that long ago. So I, I, I remember, I remember that I swore eternal love to my first 16-year-old boyfriend and, you know, it was just, um, it was like, it was heartfelt. All this experience of life, I think, made, made our, per our perception more wide and more rich and our liberty of making choices more wide also. That's why I think it's important to continue to make films that, that, can, that are more and more, <clears throat> that, that, that doesn't give answers, you know, that doesn't um, consolate people, but are more questioning and more uh, looking for changing something.